Venice, Cal... <laughs> We're here today in Venice, California for an interview with a very unusual subject, a very unusual fellow that I'm sure you'll be all interested in meeting, the nude man. Now, you have your blacks, you have your Mexicans, you have your Orientals, you have your boat people thrown out of Vietnam. You have people who are deaf, dumb, and blind, various aspects of society who have one thing in common. They are the victims of discrimination. They don't want them to eat in certain restaurants. They don't want them to go to certain theaters. They, they put them in second class on trains, etc. If they're not rich and if they're not white, it's a pretty chance to be discriminated against. Our fellow today we're going to meet is sort of a Mr. Natural, the nude man. Uh, his, his problem, or maybe not a problem, but it is a problem because of his being unable to move about in society, is that he refuses to wear clothes. Whether this is a religious belief or his own personal convictions or something to his skin rash, whatever, we're going to find this out. But this fellow can't go anywhere. In fact, he hasn't, uh, he hasn't really been out of the house for about 40 years. And I'm sure you'll all be interested in meeting And here is Mr. Natural. How are you today, Mr. Natural? Naturally, I'm just fine. Thank now, is this true that what, what we've heard that you have never uh, been out of the house for about 40 years? Can't be all not true. Not true, of course not, no. I, I live only indoors? Of course not. You have some place where you can go outside? I have a very nice patio, actually. Have you ever been on a on a public bus or an airplane? Uh, airplane, yeah, I hear one. Uh, of course, I can't. Get, I, I, they won't allow such a thing. I mean, that's that's that is. I, I'm sure that's why you're talking to me. Uh, yeah, I, I have so many problems. You can't go out in public at all, can you? Well, I do. I'm not supposed to. I do. I mean, I, I, I think just last night I was on the beach. It was fairly crowded, but of course people don't notice. I, I mean, I go in a natural state. It's ob apparently there are laws against my being out as I as I was out last night. That's why I go in the dark at night. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> because if you were a nude woman, I'm sure that no one would mind. I mean, people would kind of like that. But being a male, it, it seems to offend everybody. Do you find this to be true? Well, there's, you know, there's something peculiar about uh, <clears throat> the people's reaction to my appendage. They sort of, they look, they stare, some point, some laugh. Well, it's the laughter that hurts me, actually, but... Uh, <laughs> well, why don't you just put some clothes on and go out like everybody else? Uh, I, <laughs> I'm not like everybody else. Everybody else seems to have done something unnatural in their lives, which seems to occur shortly after birth in a lot of cases parents put on this this little triangular uh, cloth thing and they progress from that and they wear uh, they get trousers and uh, you know, shirts and things come on now aren't you aren't you really a bit of an oddball well, not to want to wear clothes like all the rest of us it's not even not wanting to or, or wanting to it's just to me it's uh, incredibly unnatural I no, I was I was spanked on the butt as an infant, and that was a bare butt, and I remained bare. And I, as a matter of fact, speaking of bears, they have a, a natural coat, but it is no different than mine. Mine is natural, and bare is the way I prefer to go. Well, we all like no. A lot of people sleep in the nude and stuff, and they have nude beaches. Why don't you just go to a nudist camp, one a couple weeks out of the year? Why don't you just be like the rest of us? I, I would. If I wanted to go to a nudist camp, I would go to one, probably, but... No, well, there, there's, there would be a problem, actually, when I think about it. Which is always my problem. I can't really go there. I can't go anywhere. I have the restriction. I mean, I don't wear clothing. You know. Have you ever tried to, to go in a car? Uh, I've been in cars. I've been in cars. My friends think it's strange that I want to... You know, that I sit there in the passenger seat fully unclothed. We go and they stop in service stations. They say, cover up, cover up. You know what? Cover up? Why cover up? Why don't they uncover? Well, 
I, uh... Here's your phone, Mr. Natural. Well, let's see who this is. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Hi, Frontel. Fine. Here. Okay, wait a minute, here. Now, Mr. Natural, um, the, uh, the problem, I guess, would be if you were going to go to a jack-in-the-box or something and the, the girls, the attendants, would look down into the car when they hand you the hamburgers. Do you eat hamburgers? I eat a variety of foods. Uh, hamburger I'm not so fond of, but uh, you, you mentioned jack-in-the-box. I have been to jack-in-the-box. Uh, unclothed? Unclothed. I have gotten some very strange reaction, and again, it was from girls. <laughs> Do you want to ask him a question? Don't you ever get cold, Mr. Uh, I feel variations of temperatures on my flesh. I mean, sometimes I feel more comfortable than others. <coughs> Excuse me, but I, I can't really differentiate between cold and I guess your hot. Also, as it were, body would adjust to uh, being uh, clothless. Yeah, of course. Constantly. Adjust. I have had nothing to adjust to. I would imagine you, seeing you in that state, you have some adjustments to make. I'm sure. Because I've observed many other people. I think that at various times you have more of that garb on than, than you do now because it's a Do you have any uh, girlfriends? Of course. Uh, oh, how do you meet people you if, you're, meet if you're nude all the time and stay, stay home? More than once they've come to my window. <laughs> they actually come to me. Peeping, uh, uh, well, they, they observe me. I mean, I, I know that it's peculiar. People with fully unclothed, observed by others, they find... Have you ever been hassled by the police? Oh, the police. It's a daily ritual. But they know, they all know me. I... So basically you're confined to the house then? Well, the patio, I go in the patio, and I, like I told you, I... But wouldn't you like to dress up and go out to the, see a ballet or go to the theater or something, get a good like, restaurant? I would like nothing more than to go to the theater, as you say, or uh, nice restaurant? just for a stroll, even, I, I would enjoy. How about going to a nice restaurant? Why don't you just put some clothes on and go there? It's, it's so terribly unnatural, the idea. Uh, I don't know. It, it, it must be awfully confining, isn't it? Even if I hold myself like this, it seems that that's... It's, it closes me in. No, I, I, as much as I'd like to, I can't die now, I should say. Well, do clothes and, bother you or something? Your skin or anything? Or? Well, they don't bother me. I think it, it's, I hate to keep harping on the word natural, or the words natural and unnatural, but that is an unnatural texture to be a tab. I like a wooden chair. I enjoy the feeling, and of course, then it's, it's wood. It's, it's very natural. Uh, <laughs> Uh, clothing. I, I, I look at TV. I see the uh, the hype. The hype they use on people. I mean, you must change. This is a different season. This is a different year. This is a different time of year. You're going to a different place. You must always. You people are obviously are obsessed with this thing of changing. Well, the discrimination. Oh, again, the, yes. Well, you're not interested in. You don't read Gentlemen's Quarterly. Then you're not interested in the latest fashions. <laughs> I know that's supposed to be funny, but I mean, it's absurd. What fashions? Yeah, the, what I was talking about, fashions, right? That's the term you use. The latest fashions. In other why? words, why? In other words, what you think is people should just tone up their muscles and go and go naked everywhere. Boy, that would be nice. I mean, <laughs> I would have, of course, a volume of friends rather than the handful that I have. Did you ever think that there was a time when? You might see a breakthrough that the, the world might be changing around to your way of thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was happening. It was mm, 10, 15, during the 60s. It seemed to be uh, coming my way. Uh, what was that? Oh, they were, they were even in the beach area where I am. They were starting to go unclothed. But then you had the, that constant harassment. Police were. You mean the hippie era, the, the era, the, yeah, the, the yeah. love-ins and stuff? Yeah, it was getting close to it. Uh, I had various friends that were even joining me, and we did go on little daring excursions. But then the police. Would you never try to make a trip to Europe in the nude? Well, I would certainly like to. I mean, that, 
And I've I've made phone calls. I've attempted to arrange flights. Uh, but I I'm wise. I explain the situation up front. I don't. I mean, I have to see if I can get it arranged. They generally they hang up on me, so I I, I can't go anywhere. You explain to them that you won't be wearing any clothes. You mean yes. ahead of time, yeah. and they they object to that. They object vehemently, but they also, like I said, they hang up on me. I can't even discuss it very thoroughly. They nobody seems to understand. I, I'm curious if you are even on my side listening to. Uh, I mean, it's well, I think you're. Uh, I think you're a weirdo. I mean, I don't know why you just don't put your clothes on and forget this idea of Mr. Natural. Uh, one problem that exists right up front is I can't put my clothes on. I have no clothes. <laughs> <laughs> we could get you some. I could buy you a, a t-shirt and a pair of shorts and you could go anywhere. There you go, an expenditure that could feed me. <laughs> Not necessary. Well, um, then... She's laughing. I, I think... But she has a smile on her face. I think that there may be a convert there. <laughs> So was that the high point then, when maybe the nude beaches came out? Was that sort of a, it looked like there was some hope? There was a lot of hope going for a lot of us at that point. You, you could easily have become one of, well, one of us, one of me. You could have become like me. But, um... Uh, uh, Mr. Nefra, I have a question. Why don't you uh, just go out to, into the jungle, maybe South America or something, and live with the tribe. Well, Actually, they don't I, wear any clothes. I would like to go there. I really would like to go there. And I have... I'm working on a plan. I can't divulge it right now. But I am going to attempt to get there. Could you be shipped and in a wooden... Imagine how I get there. How do I get there? Be shipped in a wooden box. Yes, uh, the comfort of the wood might be nice. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I could mention one thing that... A lot of people were aware of some some years ago, and I was actually watching TV. It was during the Academy, Academy War time, and there was a guy that a, appeared on TV that was he was 100% right. He had no clothes, and he was a streaker, and that became somewhat in vogue, if you recall. Yes, yeah, streaking. It almost caught on. It almost caught on. There, it's time for more of that. <laughs> Would you consider streak? Well, I guess you are considered a streaker, aren't you? No, I move slowly. I don't. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I mean, streak. I know that the term streak means a flash, right? Or flash. This is this is my speed, flash. Only I don't flash. It's it's all there for you to see. Well, what 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 would it, would you to have some different advice then for the women, the mothers of America, bringing up their children now? Yes, indeed. Bring them up. Just let them grow. Don't curb their natural state by putting those materials but on their But how body. would these children attend school? The, their peers would laugh at them. I'm, I'm sure no, you had problems no. when you were a young boy. Would, wouldn't it uh, encourage sexual activity among uh, the students and children? If everyone started going nude? question to give some thought to. Uh, but what if what is wrong with sexual activity? I found that I enjoy it immensely. <laughs> In public though? I mean what if people started just grabbing it? Well I guess they do it now anyway, don't they? Grab it? Well wouldn't I guess what you're saying is we'd eliminate rape, wouldn't it? They couldn't tear anybody's clothes off. You're wising up. I hope the world whole world hears what you have to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much. Do you have any more questions for Mr. Natural? Do you have a question? Yes. Um, Mr. Natural, um, I think um, that you like for women to get raped, don't you? I like to be taken by a woman, yes. <laughs> well, I mean, if everybody got raped, then nobody would wear clothes. Because they wouldn't have any clothes to wear. Is this well, that's actually by a clothing company. <laughs> any questions? Okay, well, I wish you good luck in your campaign to unclothe the world. Well, at this point, I've been knocking around for a number of years this way. I would just uh, thank you for wishing me luck, but if I could just get down to the jungles like this young woman suggests, <laughs> that's all I care Maybe over to Karamoja in Africa. They don't wear any clothes Karamoja. there. 
sounds interesting. But you, yeah. But why do you think it is that people are offended when you suddenly will walk into, if you were to walk into a department store, totally nude? Well, I, I have a suspicion that it would probably be, and you, you won't buy this, but I, I think it would probably be the jealousy. Jealousy. They would like to be in the same state. Well. And then, <laughs> when they glance at the appendage, then, well, there comes the same word, jealousy. <laughs> now, now, how do, Mr. Nashville, how do you, how do you get these girlfriends, or how do you meet people, or how, how do you see people? <laughs> occasionally, ah. I wave, occasionally I just give them a motion like this. Do they they see me, if it looks interesting, they, they, uh, they knock on the door. I see, you're on the beach here, and people yeah. can see right through the window. Oh, I have no place else to live, this is, this is just it for me. Does the cold bother you? Does the winter time? No, I rather like. Uh, let's get a little pic. Let's take a little picture here with our camera of your out your front window here. Here. So that, there that, it is, huh? That lady wants to be unclothed, but uh, she's stuck with that uh, the triangle. <laughs> I see. Well, no one seems to be walking by <laughs> on the beach right now. Well, I see. You can spot people. There's someone on a bicycle. I see. Well, are you ever approached by homosexuals? Being in this state? Uh, California? A big party? Yes, California. <laughs> California is a homosexual state. <laughs> Is it, does this have to go on for <laughs> Well, thank you very much. Oh, yeah. We're going to leave you alone now, Mr. Natural. You're more than welcome. <laughs> Jeez.